What's going on everybody? Here we are. It's another week at the Home Theater Hobbies and this week we have our full review of the Fluence AI 40s. So let's get to it. Fluence is a Canadian based company that specializes in speakers, turntables, and basically all your home audio needs. And they sent me these, the AI 40s. These are powered bookshelf speakers. That means they have their own internal lamp to drive the speakers. So you just plug them into the wall, connect them to your source, turn them on, and you'll be able to listen to your favorite movies and of course your favorite music. Before we get too far into this video, if you enjoyed this type of content, please click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted anytime we upload new content. The AI 40s feature a one inch silk tone tweeter, a five inch woven glass fiber driver, all within a sealed enclosure. They have a frequency response from 40 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. They are 10.9 inches tall, six and a half inches wide and 7.6 inches deep. And they weigh approximately seven pounds a piece. Now let's move on to design. I have these in the walnut finish. So the casing on the top sides, back and bottom are all brown while the front is black. These do not come with a grill so you will be able to see that tweeter and driver at all times. Now both speakers have the same tweeter and driver and just below that you have the Fluence logo. While the right hand speaker is a little bit different because this is the command and control speaker. So down here at the bottom right, you have the volume knob and input selection. So you turn it one way or the other to turn the volume up or down. If you press in and hold, it turns the power on or off. And if you do a short press and let go, you can go through the source selection. And just to the left of that knob, you have a little LED light. Red means that it is powered off. Blue means that it's in Bluetooth mode and yellow or amber means that it is in RCA mode. Moving to the far left corner on the bottom, you have the IR sensor for the included remote. So let's talk about this remote. This remote is nice and small. It fits really well in the hand. There's a contoured shape right here, so it feels good in your hand and it's nice and slim, but it's tall enough that you actually have nice size buttons that you can see at the top on the top left. You've got power and just to the right of that you have mute. Just below that you have what's effectively like a D-pad, but it allows you to control your Bluetooth source. So you've got track back and forward. You've also got a play pause button in the center and you can turn the volume up or down at the top. Just below that you have your input selection button so you can select your input source. And to the right of that you have another button that looks funny, but what it really does is it changes how bright the LED status light is on the front of the speaker. So you've got 100%, 25%, and it can go full off with the push of a button. Just below that, you have your treble and bass selection, so you can turn the treble or bass of the speakers up or down. Moving on, let's talk about the bottom of these speakers. They both have feet on each of the four corners there in rubber. These feet protect your surface, the table on which is sitting, and the speaker from one another so you don't get any scratches. They also decouple the speaker from the table so you don't get any vibrations from the speaker translating to the table. This is a great feature to have and I'm glad Fluence includes these out of the box with these speakers. Now let's talk about the rear of these two speakers. At the top right corner of each of the speakers you have an L or an R, left or right. And they denote this because the right speaker is the command and control speaker as I said before. It has the amplifier in it, so it sends power through the speaker wire to the left speaker, which is the passive speaker. On the left speaker, on the rear, all you have are the binding posts, black and red. When you're connecting these two speakers, you want to use speaker wire, the included speaker wire, and you want to connect red with red here and black with black here, and it works just fine. You also have that Canadian flag there, just to let you know that these are Canadian speakers. Moving on to the right speaker, at the very top you've got a Bluetooth pairing button here. If the pairing fails using the uh, input selector switch up front and you have RCA inputs just below that, you have binding posts to again connect it to the left hand speaker and just below that you have a power port so you can connect the included power adapter and of course again the Canadian flag. These speakers allow you to connect to your source material via the RCA cables on the back and or Bluetooth connections. To connect via Bluetooth is actually pretty simple. First of all, you wanna turn these speakers on using the included power button on the remote 
or using the volume knob down here. You just press and hold and it will turn on to power. Then you will select the Bluetooth source, either the remote or the button down here. The LED indicator light will go blue and it will start blinking blue. Then you know it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. You go to your phone or tablet and you can go into your, of course, your Bluetooth settings, find something that's called Fluence AI40 and click connect. From there, these speakers will play this tone and you know you're connected. And if you decide to disconnect, you will hear this tone. Once you hear that tone, everything's done and you are good to go. Now I'm gonna play a couple of audio samples so you can hear how these sound. But stay tuned after those audio samples because I'm going to rate these speakers in a few different categories and then I'm gonna give you my overall impressions. Hopefully you enjoyed those audio samples and you were able to hear just how good these sound. And now I'm going to rank these speakers in a few different categories from one to five. One being the absolute worst and five being the absolute best. The first category I'm gonna rank is design and I give these a three and a half out of five. Overall, I like the fact that they're relatively small so you can kind of take them anywhere you wanna go. If you wanna go on vacation, these can easily pack into a suitcase and you have a very nice sounding pair of speakers wherever you want to go. They're not the biggest speakers in the world, but they're also not the smallest. So you can do a lot with them. The cabinet finish, Fluence has done a really good job with that. I don't see any flake scratches or anything like that. It's very, very solid. And this two-tone look is something that I like. Overall, I think this looks great. And I mean, the materials aren't like super premium or anything like that, but they definitely work for these speakers. And I think it looks good. The next category I'm gonna rank is features. And I give this a three out of five. Fluence gives you two main ways you can connect to your sources, RCA and Bluetooth, which is nice, but I wish they included a digital optical input. That way you could connect to more TVs and just a larger variety of source material. Now let's talk sound quality. And I give these a four and a half out of five. These things sound great. When listening to music and watching movies, I was really, really impressed, really mostly by the woofer and also by the tweeter. The woofer gives you a good bit of body with the sound, which is nice, especially when you're listening to music. I really like the body presentation of this. And I thought that the body was gonna be a bit overpowering. And then the tweeter came in with the vocals. And I mean, it really just went just over the top of the body and they meshed very, very well. So I really enjoyed just listening to these. I set these up in my kitchen, played some music. I, I just, I set them up all over the place. And my wife heard them and she was like, wow, they sound good. I was like, yeah, they do sound good. So I have to give these a four and a half out of five from a sound quality standpoint. These things sound really good with both movies and music. I listen to both and they sound great. So if you're thinking about these, don't worry about it, they do sound good. The next category I'm gonna rank is value, and I have to give these a 4.75 out of five. These things sound great, they're built excellently, and I think, um, yeah, a 4.5 out of five, or 4.75 out of five, and I don't give it that extra quarter of a point, mainly because I'm like, man, what if they were a little bit cheaper? What if they were 150 a pair? They'd be a killer deal. What if they're 100 a pair? They'd be a killer deal. So if you see these for $100 or 150 a pair, Definitely pick them up because, I mean, at $200 a pair, this is a great, great value. They sound good, they have excellent build quality, and, well, just great value. As you can tell from the rating section of this video, I highly recommend these speakers. They sound great, they have an excellent build quality, and this two-tone finish, they look great. I wish they included a digital optical cable so you could connect to more things, but otherwise, these are great speakers, and if you can pick them up on sale, or even at their regular price of $200, these things are a bargain. You can take them anywhere you want, 
and they are great speakers. So if you want to purchase these, use those links in the description below. They help support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. We'll talk to you next time.